Hello everyone, welcome back to Melanie's journal and today we're making the March setup um, and as you can see we have a lovely view of Hogwarts uh, for this cover page and this month is all dedicated to everything in and around Hogwarts so you'll see some familiar places um, and of course uh, the view of Hogwarts itself. Now I did a little poll on Instagram to see um, uh, what you guys preferred, whether you preferred to see uh, Hogwarts at night uh, or Hogwarts during the day because I couldn't really decide and in the end uh, most of you said um, that you preferred Hogwarts at night so um, that's what I'm going to do it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge uh, I find um, just with all the dark colors uh, you might know that's not exactly my forte but that's good we like a challenge so I'm going to start and I'm going to start off with the uh, sky and the water and then work in our castle So the first thing I'm going to do is very lightly outline the shadow from the moon here. And this is when I would really like some masking tape just to make this process a bit easier for myself. But. be a very dark painting and just basically a lot and lots of blue blue and gray tones as well as a bit of um, a bit of yellow and a bit of white but I'm gonna start first with just a base color of uh, dark blue Okay, so the basis of the sky is done. I'm now going to go in to just really darken everything up. Um, you can see I've added a little bit of mist here already just to give myself a bit of a guideline um, and add in enough like light details, apart from the castle. The castle I'm really going to do later on. Um, and I'm probably going to go and uh, color in the lake too. I made a few points of where the boats are going to be because I decided to make this a bit more of the first year view of Hogwarts. Um, but yeah, I won't be really, really be talking throughout this part until I get to the castle, so I hope you can just enjoy in seeing this all hopefully come together.
So for now the background is done. Uh, once it's all dry, I'm probably going to go in just to add a bit more detail, of course, some metallic, metallic details as well. But I think I'm very happy with it so far. And they're going to go uh, work on the rock work and on Hogwarts itself. So I'm first going to highlight some of the lighting um, that we see. And it's a bit difficult because there is um, there are different reference pictures of Hogwarts. Uh, but they're all different versions of it because they definitely use a few different types in the film. So I'm also kind of basing it a bit off of just <laughs> a bit random details. So here the main setup is done. As you can see, I added a few little boats here and there. Um, very happy so far how it's turning out. I'm now going to go in with my uh, white gel pens and my metallic details just to finish everything off. So here we have the final painting. I just turn on the light so you can see the shimmering better. But I am really happy how this setup turned out. Yeah, I really like it. 
So I'm going to quickly make a copy of it so that if you want it, um, yeah, I can send you a copy for your own journal. Um, but for now, I'm going to set it into my journal. So here we have the final March spread in my journal. I'm very happy how it turned out. Showing you some of the shimmer. Go and a beautiful view of Hogwarts at night with the first year boats going towards the castle. Also really like how the moon turned out in the end. I was able to really keep it as light as I wanted it. So yeah, very happy. I hope you enjoyed seeing this part. And now we're gonna go on to the rest of the setup um, and go on to the goals page first. So here we have the monthly and social media goals page. And there's always this a nice little icon here uh, that I use. Um, and this month, uh, as you can see, is all about Hogwarts. And so what I wanted to do is, of course, make a Hogwarts letter because, you know, that's how we get into the school. Um, initially, I wanted to actually fold up a letter just as I did in my January setup, but it would just be a little bit too bulky for this page. So I decided to draw one in. I do have a ready-made stamp that I made with Hogwarts on here. So that's gonna go right over here. And then I'm gonna cover the back with some washi tape. The washi tape I'm going to use is from the Dark Academia collection from Notebook Therapy. I have a little bit of a peek here. I'm going to be using this beautiful tape. So I'm kind of going to cover the sides and I'm going to use just some simple watercolor just to color in the letter. So it's going to be quite a simple setup for this one, uh, but I think that's also nice too and quite easy to recreate as well. So now the washi tape is on here. I'm quickly going to go over the letter with just some yellow paint and a little bit of brown just to give it a bit of an aged look and then stick on the uh, wax seal. the finished page very happy how it turned out as I said very simple I think it's quite easy to recreate as well uh, even without just a stamp I mean you can always draw that in but yeah really liking the vibe so now we can go on to the next goals page here we have the first week of March um, now, as I did in my last setup for February, um, I didn't show me painting all of the uh, weeklies uh, just because it just became way too long of a video. So I'm just going to show you me painting this one, but I do want to show the outlines that I drew for the other weeks. So here we have the uh, Great Hall of Hogwarts. I mean, of course, we need that one for Hogwarts themed uh, month. And then here we have the Grand Staircase with all of the paintings. Um, I haven't drawn in any of the paintings, uh, so I'm gonna see how I'm gonna paint that. Uh, probably just a few quick, quick doodles. Um, but I'm very happy how this uh, turned out. It's very chaotic, to be honest. Here we have the prefect's bathroom with the mermaid. I just always, I love this stained glass window, so I really want to add it in. And I thought this would be a perfect place to do so. Here is Dumbledore's office. This was a lot, a lot of sketching work um, and a lot of winking work too, but I'm very happy how it turned out and even more happy to show you later on how it's going to turn out. And this is probably one of the most simpler ones is, is the Quidditch pitch, uh, but of course it's very, very necessary. But I will do those with a bit of magic. 
and we're going to color in the Great Hall together. So let's go. We have the great hall. I'm going to show you a bit of the lovely bewitched sky. Of course, here we have the owl that uh, stands in the middle where Dumbledore can read off. Of course, some of the um, rubies and sapphires for the points. I kind of made them all the same <laughs> during the cause any fights between the houses. But yeah, very happy how that turned out. And now I'm going to magically show you the rest. So quick edit in here. I, once I finished this, I kind of felt something was lacking on the table. And as you can see, I painted a lot of golden plates. So I think I just really finish it. It often kind of balances because all the detail was here and there was basically nothing here. So um, yeah, just gonna add this in very quickly and go on to the next weeklies. For the final page of the setup, uh, this is going to be the mind map page, and here we have the iconic duo Dumbledore and McGonagall uh, being absolute legends. Um, and I just wanted to have them together in sort of a fighting mode. Um, they both have their Patronuses a phoenix for Dumbledore and a cat for McGonagall. I uh, really like how it turned out, I like their poses, I like their faces. Um, I try to kind of make Dumbledore a bit of a in between between um, Richard Harris Dumbledore and Michael Gambon Dumbledore, uh, but also I found this fan art of um, the Michael Gambon uh, Dumbledore with his iconic blue outfit, um, but he was also wearing a three-piece suit, kind of as a nod to um, Dumbledore's fashion in Fantastic Beasts, which was just absolutely amazing. So I've added that in here as well. Um, it's not that obvious, uh, probably a bit more once I paint it, but um, I really just like that little detail. 
So yeah, I'm gonna start painting. As you can see, there's no really background. I'm just gonna paint the background as dark as I can, just to make the Patronuses stand out. But I think the figures themselves are very detailed. So that's what it's going to be. So I hope you will enjoy seeing that. So here we have the base color. As you can see, it's very blue, particularly with Dumbledore. But no worries, we're gonna darken everything in and uh, really give in the details. So you won't really see that, but this is always really good just to have as a bit of a base point. So for example, you could see I first did a green layer on McGonagall's hat and then went over with some black and gray. Uh, that's because I want the hat to have just a little bit tinge of green, uh, but that's really quite difficult to add in later. So that's why I'm just having a base layer, just so I can have those details peek out later on when I darken everything up. But yeah, now we're gonna go on to all the good details. So here the main painting is done. 
Um, what I did off screen was actually darken the background with some purple. I was trying it with blue and black and it just wasn't really working. Uh, but I think with the purple it just adds a really lovely contrast and really makes the blue of the Petrona stand out. So I'm very happy with that. I'm now going to go in and use my metallic details. I'm also probably going to do a few um, Transfiguration incantations as like star charts almost uh, because there are of course both Transfiguration teachers. So I'm going to add that in and then we'll be done. Here's the finished piece. You can already see some of the shine, all of the spells. Really happy with the constellations. And it really feels it really finishes this painting off. Like the Phoenix as well. It's very bright, I think, on, on camera. Um, but yeah, so here are a Dumbledore and McGonagall. Now I will put it into my journal and give you a final flip through. Now it's time for the final flip through. So here we have the cover page of March with Hogwarts at night. The monthly goals page with the Hogwarts letter. The habit and mood tracker page with a book stand with magical objects and of course books. The great hall with the night sky. The grand staircase with the staircases that move. The um, prefect's bathroom with the stained glass window of the mermaid. Dumbledore's office with Fox Phoenix. The Quidditch pitch with a sneaky little snitch right over there. And the Mima page with Dumbledore and Minerva McGonagall. And some of the symbols that you see are Transfiguration spells. And of course, they were so of a cat and a phoenix. So, yeah, very happy how the setup turned out. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Um, of course, please like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.